For the second straight season and Division II record seventh time overall, the Grand Valley State women's soccer team are 2021 national champions after a golden goal winner in a thrilling double overtime championship match on Saturday, December 11th in Colorado Springs, Colorado. After claiming a 12th straight Midwest regional title and outlasting Central Missouri 1-0 in a national quarterfinal, the Lakers made their way out to Colorado Springs over the weekend for the Final Four. They were chosen as the top seed and were matched with the Cinderella story of the tournament, Lenore Ryan, who was a seven seed in their region and advanced three times on penalty kicks to reach their first ever Final Four in the semifinal. The Lakers wasted no time jumping in front, scoring in the fourth minute to set the tone. Katie Barron made a great run down the right wing, carrying possession towards the end line before angling the ball back to the middle of the box where Kennedy Bearden was able to one-time it off the crossbar and in. The Barron to Bearden connection would bookend the weekend. The Lakers had a few more chances in the first half, but wouldn't capitalize until the 43rd minute when Saris Malinsky was able to wedge in from the right wing and roll a ball to the near post for McKenna Schoolman to play past the keeper and double the advantage. For Schoolman, it was a Cinderella moment of her own, scoring her first goal of the season nine months after what could have been a career-ending leg injury. With a half hour to play, Cecilia Steinwasher removed all doubt with an absolute ringer off the inside of the far post. Mackenzie Jones played her into a good position just outside the box, and Steinwasher was able to angle it back across to beat the keeper. Kendall Robertson made a pair of saves in the complete game shutout between the pipes. The win earned the Lakers an 11th trip to the national championship, where a familiar foe awaited. The St. Rose Golden Knights, a team the Lakers beat 3-2 in a semifinal in 2019, sought revenge. The Lakers have faced the Knights five times before this season, all in the Final Four, with a record of 2-1-1. One one. That one loss coming exactly a decade ago in the 2011 national championship. Grand Valley would head into the final possible day of play for the fourth straight season and would make it eight straight seasons of either playing in a national championship or having their season ended by the team that would eventually become the champions. For nearly a decade, the national championship has run through Grand Valley State. It was a dream start for the Lakers as Bearden drilled a banger into the top shelf within the first five minutes for the second straight game. The Lakers would carry that lead into half in a back and forth affair that saw both teams with double digit shots and three corner kicks in the first half. Kendall Robertson made three of her four saves in the first half to keep the Golden Knights off the score sheet. St. Rose would equalize around the hour mark. A foul deep in the Laker defensive third set up a good insert on a set piece, and despite a couple of deflections by the Lakers, the ball squibbed into the net to tie things up. Grand Valley State regained the lead in the 73rd minute when a corner kick set up a scramble in front of goal, and the ball fell to Cecilia Steinwasher's feet. She was able to volley a chip over the keeper into the far side netting and put the Lakers back in front. That lead was short-lived, however, as just five minutes later, St. Rose capitalized on their own corner to level the match once again. St. Rose had a chance to take the lead with just eight minutes left on a breakaway off a Laker turnover, but the true freshman Robertson came off her line and got to the ball before a shot to keep things level. The Lakers then had a flurry of chances at the end of the second half, but time ran out to send the championship match into golden goal overtime. Again, the Lakers applied plenty of pressure in the first overtime, including a chance that had to go to VAR to determine if it crossed the line, but the ref determined it did not fully clear the line. But just 20 seconds into the second overtime, Barron carried possession to the end line and angled the ball back to Bearden for her second of the day and triggered the celebration. Grand Valley, we'd like to thank everyone who made this championship possible. Uh, the committee, the city of Colorado Springs, everyone who put their hard work, volunteering hours into making an environment like this for these women to compete at the highest level. So we thank them for that. Uh, we tip our hats to St. Rose. They played a phenomenal game, thought it was a fantastic soccer match. I'm just extremely proud of our women for handling anything that came up during this game to get the result. Uh, we faced a lot of adversity coming into this. Like, we didn't even know who our head coach was going to be two weeks before our preseason started. So, honestly, I'm really proud of these girls. I'm really proud of our fifth-year seniors because we stepped up big time to take on a big leadership role. And I'm really proud of the younger players for stepping up and executing everything that they needed to this whole season. This is a really, really special group. And 
we stuck together through absolutely everything that was thrown at us and we led this team um i'm so proud of this group and we could not imagine a better way to go out so super proud of them i think katie just hit on the head we ask our players to do their job um, and we had a lot of great performances there was a moment where kendall needed to do her job i thought she timed it perfectly she didn't come out too early read the touch got herself big um, and obviously a big time save for us and uh, Kendall as well as our whole goalkeeping crew have really supported each other to help each other get better and um, I, I know we're all proud of Kendall but especially that goalkeeping core at the way they train day in and day out uh, for her to make that save is indicative of their training habits and, and the level they expect out of themselves. In our meeting last night Nettie, Coach Nettie had said that we will be remembered and we will be remembered as 2021 national champions. And that's something that really stuck with me through the night into, t into today. Um, I think we'll all leave our own legacy and we'll be remembered in different ways, but um, we won't be far, that's for sure. Yeah, walking away as 2021 national champions, I mean, that, that's really special. And to do it back to back, um, that's only part of our legacy. There's so much more that we did throughout our four or five, some of us fifth years that had three years here. Like we did so much more than just win. And I think the program, the standards, the expectations, they're gonna stay because of the way that we held it this year when we faced as much adversity as we did. Yeah, I think when you started talking about the word legacy, uh, I'd be remiss if part of their legacy on top of all the great things that these two have talked about is to bring me on board. You know, they're, they're one week out of preseason, don't know who their head coach is, um, but to have the understanding to listen to some new ideas, but also help me understand the, the foundation that they had really created. There's going to be things that last for years to come beyond just being on the field this year. So, um, you know, for me personally, I was just very blessed to have an opportunity to have this group be our old leaders to help me understand what Grand Valley is about. Um, and I'd like to think that we've done it uh, a different way, but it's still a great way. But all the credit really goes to all of the women of the team. The fifth year seniors are upperclassmen who really did set the tone, but for the younger ones to understand and learn and grow throughout the year so we could be the best version of ourselves in December in no time earlier than that is really a credit to the team. The Lakers finished the season 24-1-2 while securing their second consecutive national championship and seventh title in program history, making them the most successful program in NCAA Division II women's soccer history. While the offseason will see some of the senior leadership depart GVSU, including the United Soccer Coaches National Player of the Year in Steinwasher, the teachings of a truly special senior class, and Jim Conlon's proof of being able to carry on the winning tradition, we should see the Lakers back in the national spotlight in 2022. For the Grand Valley State Sports Report, I'm Jake Levy.